Okay, so big shout out to Ulanzi for sending this tripod to review. And now, full disclosure, Ulanzi are not sponsoring this video or have any say in it. And they have not watched the video before publishing. I do get to keep the tripod though, so that's that. But as usual, this doesn't dictate anything I say or do in this review. And I already use other Ulanzi products that I purchased with my own money. Whenever I look for well-made accessories at a cheaper price, they are the first brand that I check. And for example, I have these small RGB lights that I always carry with me when I travel. And speaking of travel, the subject of this video today is this new travel tripod here. The F38X Cross, which is Ulanzi's ultralight tripod solution dedicated to video creators. And Ulanzi have made a name for themselves in the tripod space this past year, thanks to the Zero F38, which seems to have dethroned the peak design tripod as every other YouTuber's favorite. That tripod was the result of a successful collaboration between Ulanzi and Common, and Ulanzi are taking the same approach here, collaborating with PhotoPro to integrate PhotoPro's air cross mechanism and the F38 quick release system of Ulanzi. And the result is this tripod here, which has a few nifty features that I'm going to show you here in this video. So let's start with the price and the main specs. This is a tripod that doesn't break your back or the bank. It is made of lightweight carbon fiber, resulting in a weight of 2.4 pounds or 1.09 kilos. And its price at the time of recording is 290 US dollars which is less than the 350 of the Zero F38, for example. It can handle up to 22 pounds or 10 kilos, and the fluid head that comes with it can support up to 6.6 .6 pounds or 3 kilos. And you may think that this is not much, but remember that this is a tribal tripod, and we all try to travel as light as possible. So the assumption is that you don't go around, for example, hiking with a 10 kilo system on your shoulders. And because of the fluid head, this video tripod doesn't pack as light as a photo tripod, but it's still decently compact when collapsed at 17 inches or 43 centimeters. And when fully extended, it goes up to 61 inches or 155 centimeters. Now, my current travel tripod takes less space when collapsed, meaning that I can fit it inside the bag when I have room rather than on the side. And it is something that matters to me because I sometimes travel to rough locations and I don't want my setup to tell everyone, hey, I'm a photographer, come steal my expensive gear. Something that I may actually make a video about. But if needed, I can always unscrew the fluid head and pack them separately. So this is not a big deal. And so this goes as high as 155 centimeters, but how low does it go? and you can actually take these as low as the ground. You can, in fact, unscrew the center column and use this in a couple of different ways. For example, you can set your camera upside down to go really, really low to the ground, or you can remove the bottom section of the column to place this on the fully spread legs. And you could also use the center column as a small monopod if you're feeling creative or you need to capture something that's behind a wall. But let's now move to the main features, uh, starting with the legs mechanism, which is the reason why Ulanzi decided to collaborate with PhotoPro on this tripod. They have in fact adopted the PhotoPro air cross system here. So the legs are recessed inside, so this works by twisting the foot and extend the leg to the length that you need. And you can see here how quick the whole system is. This is probably the fastest way to both pack and unpack a tripod because there is only one element here that handles the opening and closing operations. And with just a little practice, you can feel the steps to extend each section. So you turn a small amount, like a quarter, and release only the first section, then again for the second, etc. Now the system is not entirely new, and I had this for years on my small table tripod. But I really like how fast is the mechanism, I really do. And one leg also has a nice rubber grip, which feels absolutely great if you want to walk with the tripod in your hand. And it is well positioned to hold the tripod without feeling unbalanced. But I believe you may already have thought a couple of questions. You have probably noticed that the first section to expand is the thinnest one, which is what most landscape photographers will tell you not to, because it makes for less stability. But in my initial test, the stability doesn't seem to suffer at all. And in these past days, I have actually asked Ulanzi for more information. 
and they replied in a very technical way, talking about axial load and lateral load and camera mass versus wind, something I won't bore you with. But suffice to say that the system is designed to offset any adverse effect, and it also benefits of the better stability provided by the carbon fiber. So you shouldn't have any problem with stability by using this tripod. The other obvious question arises about refining the length to adjust on an uneven surface. And it may be harder to finally adjust the legs once in position because you need to go down to the foot to turn it, adjust it, and then go back up to check the bubble level and repeat. So it can be tedious and hard to perfect, which is why I think they came up with the extra feature on the fluid head that I'll show you in a moment. So let's now move to the fluid head, which is what differentiates this video tripod from a normal one. If you're not familiar with video tripods, a fluid head enables smooth pan and tilt movements, and this one allows you to move the camera horizontally for a 360 degrees panning, or vertically to tilt the camera between minus 55 and 90 degrees. And you can regulate the amount of tension by adjusting the knobs. And also the handle here has a nice rubbery grip which feels comfortable and should not become too cold to the touch in freezing weather. What's nice about this fluid head is that Ulanzi have also added a leveling feature, so you can refine the position, for example, if you are standing on an uneven surface, which answered the question I raised when talking about the legs. And this is a feature I really like, and I had in fact added a leveling head to my main tripod, because I always felt the need for it. So I am glad that this is already here. And the head also locks in position, of course, so you can always use it for photos as well, not just for videos. And it does collapse nicely to the side when you put it away. Now, if you don't want to use this head, for example, if you want to use the tripod as a normal tripod, you can simply replace it with whatever you fancy. This is in fact mounted via a standard head screw, so you can really mount anything that suits you. And before I talk about the quick release system, let me just add that this head also features a small screw to mount an accessory, and stores an allen key which comes in handy to mount your camera to the plate but it is strangely not the shape needed to tighten the tripod legs if you ever need to and so the quick release now this head here uses ulance's f38 system which is great but it is not arca swiss compatible so i think this will probably be my main criticism i suppose now i understand why companies like to tie you to their own system so you buy more of the products but I think that part of the success of a product lies in its flexibility. And over the years, I bought Arca Swiss and Peak Design products, so these are the systems that are most common in my gear setup. And suddenly, I have a single tripod head that out of the box doesn't let me use the products I already have. It means that to use this head, I need to spend more money on compatible plates and holders and lose all the money I already spent on my old ones, which I don't think is too fair on customers. But it's not something I blame Ulanzi for. Other companies operate in the same way, and I'd say the same for each of them. And don't get me wrong, the Ulanzi F38 system feels very solid and secure, very secure. And it seems well engineered. So if you're just starting, this would be a great system to build your setup around. But I just wish that there was a single standard. By the way, the Ulanzi plate works with Arca Swiss heads. It's it just the other way around that doesn't. But eventually, Ulanzi made an Arca Swiss version available for the Zero tripod, so maybe they will do the same with this. But in the meantime, I have added an extra plate holder on top, so I can keep using my Arca Swiss compatible plates. A few extra features available on this tripod are the two quarter screws on the side for accessories, the pouch that comes with it in the box, and, and the super secret surprise that is hidden inside the center column. If you unscrew the bottom, you will find a very practical phone holder. You can then mount this on the plate and you're ready to use this tripod to film with your smartphone as well, which is probably the absolute best travel solution. No extra gear needed. Now, I'd like to know your comments about this tripod, so feel free to use the space below. Personally, I am very pleased with it and I have enjoyed using it in these past days. And I believe it can replace my current travel tripod thanks to its features and, and because of how light it is. But if you enjoyed this review, leave a like and consider subscribing for more. Other reviews are available to you here on the side or throughout the channel, so do explore and stick around. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!